Hello! Today I'll show you how to get pure, viable microglia from adult mouse brain in just half a day instead of two weeks. The workflow is also suitable for rat and human tissue. The Miltony Biotech protocol is faster, standardized, reproducible, and easy to scale up. Today I'll be covering the four steps you need to get pure, viable microglia from adult mouse brain in half a day. So let's get started. Miltony Biotech's neural tissue dissociation kits are designed for the gentle and rapid generation of single cell suspensions from neural tissues. In combination with GentleMax dissociators, these kits enable automated tissue dissociation in a closed, sterile system using standardized enzyme activity for reproducible results. Our neural tissue dissociation kit protocol leads to higher viability and yield than a collagenase protocol. Alternatively, for brain tumor samples, the brain tumor dissociation kit is the best choice. To get started with this protocol in your lab, prepare PB buffer, PBS, and 0.5% BSA. Make sure you have HBSS with calcium and magnesium. Today we're using three adult mouse brains, 10 weeks old, or if necessary, a dissected brain region. One adult brain weighs approximately 400 milligrams and can be processed in two milliliters. We process one brain per C-tube. The GentleMax dissociation kit contains the components for two enzyme mixes, mix one and mix two. You have to prepare mixes one and two by combining the components as shown, but first resuspend the lyophilized enzyme A powder by adding one milliliter of buffer A. Do not vortex. The solution should then be aliquoted and the surplus can be stored at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Transfer the appropriate volume of enzyme mix one into the gentle max C tubes. Slice brains and transfer into the C-tubes. Transfer 30 microliters enzyme mix 2 into the C-tube. Tightly close the C-tube until you feel and hear a click. Then attach it upside down onto the sleeve of the GentleMax Octo Dissociator with heaters. Make sure that the sample material is located in the upper right of the rotor blade. Run dissociation program 37C ABDK1. One max smart strainer can be used for up to two milliliters. So here we need three max smart strainers on three 50 milliliter tubes. Wet the filters with buffer before use. Apply the cell suspension. Rinse the C-tube with a portion of the 10 milliliter HBSS. Apply 10 milliliters of HBSS through each of the three max smart strainers. Remaining tissue pieces are normal at this stage and will be retained by the strainer. Centrifuge cell suspension at 300 G for 10 minutes at room temperature. Aspirate supernatant completely and discard. Now we are ready for myelin removal. Myelin removal from a single cell suspension is recommended when working with brain tissue of mice or rats older than P7, as well as human tissue. The older the mouse, the more myelin will be present. Therefore, the volumes of buffer and myelin removal beads too depend on the age and should be adjusted accordingly.
Then resuspend cells with PB buffer to the required volume for myelin removal beads too. Add to each 50 milliliter tube 1,800 microliters buffer and 200 microliters beads. These maximum volumes can also be used for human tissue. Mix well and do not vortex. Incubate for 15 minutes in the refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Wash cells by adding 10 times the labeling volume of buffer, so here 20 milliliters, and centrifuge at 300 G for 10 minutes. Aspirate the supernatant completely. Resuspend pellet in 3 milliliters of PB buffer. Now comes the depletion step for the myelin debris, and for this step, we use the Multimax Cell 24 Separator Plus, which is capable of processing up to 24 samples in parallel. Here we use three LS columns per adult brain. So in this case, nine LS columns in the single column adapter. If you had more than nine samples, the Multi 24 Column Block is available. Switch on the device. For removal of myelin debris, we use the deplete program. When insert columns appears, insert the single column. Alternatively, for up to 24 samples, use the multi-24 column block. Place one precept filter on each LS column. Put the adapter and the LS columns into the Multimax column holder. Press OK. When insert waste plate appears, insert a 24 well deep well plate onto the tip touch plate. Press OK. Any waste container is fine. When apply equilibration buffer appears, Apply three milliliters of degassed buffer on top of each column and let the buffer run through. Press OK. When tip touch columns in plate appears, move the tip touch plate firmly back and forth once. Press OK. When insert plate to collect unlabeled fraction appears on the display, remove waste plate and insert a five milliliter tube rack onto the tip touch plate. Press OK. Next, you will be prompted to apply sample and wash. Apply one milliliter suspension of magnetically labeled myelin onto each column and let it run through. Wash the column by applying one milliliter of degassed buffer twice on top of each column and let it run through. Check that the column reservoir is empty before applying new buffer. Press OK. When tip touch columns in plate appears, move the tip touch plate firmly back and forth once. Press OK. The combined flow through from the cell suspension and the washes represent the unlabeled target cell fraction. When prompt screen remove plate with unlabeled fraction appears, remove the five milliliter tube rack containing the unlabeled target cell fraction. Press OK. Next, You'll be prompted to remove columns, press OK to end process. Remove the columns containing the labeled myelin. Press OK. Myelin removal can also be done manually using the Quadro Max separator. Proceed to microglia isolation. Centrifuge at 300 G for 10 minutes. Remove the supernatant, resuspend the pellet, and determine the cell number, either by using flow cytometry or with a Neubauer chamber. Resuspend the cell pellet in 90 microliters of buffer per 10 to the 7th total cells. In our case, 
we have one time 10 to the eighth cells, which means 900 microliters of PB. Add 10 microliters of CD11B microglia microbeads per 10 to the seventh total cells, therefore 100 microliters. Incubate for 15 minutes at four degrees Celsius. Add 10 times the labeling volume of buffer. Centrifuge for 10 minutes at 300 G. Resuspend in one milliliter of degassed PB buffer. Because we are only interested in the positive fraction using this single column adapter, we use the program POSL SCA. Place the empty single column adapter onto the multi-max column holder. Ensure that there are no max columns inserted into the single column adapter. Select process POSL SCA and touch the forward arrow. When prompt screen insert columns appears, insert columns into the single column adapter. When using less than nine max columns, add the respective number of column blanks in order to close all nine positions. Press OK. When prompt screen insert waste plate appears, insert a 24 well deep well plate onto the tip touch plate. Press OK. The max elution station will generate a vacuum. The status LED will blink green during this process. When the vacuum has been established, the status LED will be green. When prompt screen apply equilibration buffer sample and wash appears, apply three milliliters of degassed buffer on top of each column and let the buffer run through. Apply the suspension of magnetically labeled cells onto each column and let it run through. Wash columns by applying two times two milliliters of degassed buffer on top of each column and let it run through. Ensure that the column reservoir is empty before applying new washing buffer. Press OK. When prompt screen Tip touch columns in plate appears, move the tip touch plate firmly back and forth once. Press OK. When prompt screen remove plate, place columns and new plate in elution station appears, insert a new 5 milliliter tube rack into the base part of the elution chamber to collect the positive fractions from the columns. Place the elution chamber lid 1 on top of the base part of the elution chamber. Remove the single column adapter, including the max columns from the Multimax Cell 24 Separator Plus, and place it into the lid 1 of the elution chamber. Press OK. When prompt screen Apply Elution Buffer appears, apply 4 milliliters of buffer to each column to elute labeled cells. Proceed to the next step immediately. Press OK to apply the elution impulse. Tap the single column adapter to collect drops at the column tips and ensure complete recovery of the positive fraction. When prompt screen Remove Plate and Columns Touch OK to End Process appears, remove the single column adapter, including the max columns and the lid of the elution chamber. Remove the 24 well deep well plate containing the positive fraction. Press OK and proceed to downstream applications. Alternatively, this enrichment step can be done manually using the OctoMax separator. In order to determine the purity of our isolated microglia, we're labeling them with CD11B and CD45. We use flow cytometry for an exact analysis. The MaxQuant analyzer can analyze thousands of cells within seconds. Let's check out our result. Here, the purity after an isolation using only one LS column for microglia isolation is 93.5%. For even higher purity, 
you can perform a consecutive isolation with a second LS column with only minimal reduction in yield. The microglia can be cultured on poly-L lysine coated dishes in DMEM plus 10% FCS plus 1% penstrep plus 2 millimolar L-glutamine. We recommend a seeding density of 1 time 10 to the 5th cells per well of a 24 well plate. The microglia show excellent morphology in culture. Congratulations, we're finished. I've shown you how to successfully isolate pure, viable microglia from adult mouse brain. With this workflow, there are many benefits. You save time half a day instead of almost two weeks of shake-off culture, and a culture can always get contaminated by bacteria or yeast. You get the real cells. They are acutely isolated, so there's no risk of cell culture artifacts or modification during the shake-off culture. You get reproducible results with a standardized protocol and automation. You can easily scale up the procedure for large projects. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit miltonybiotech.com/neuroscience.